Welcome back everybody. I have returned from the new year slumber and infinite boredom. All the food has been eaten, all the TV shows watched, and now it is time to get back to the grind. Year 2021 has been life-changing, but at least we saw a release of the Diablo 2 Resurrected, and even some hints on the further game development and balancing. This brought a lot of you back to the countless hours of farming, pits, countess, cow sanctuary, bale, and above all, Mephisto. That, even sometimes, it feels like he's rather farming you. But enough of this, let's review the best moments in D2R that happened to me in the last year. At the very beginning of the journey, one of the most remarkable moments to me was this fight with Hephaesto. Not only it lasted for about 20 minutes, but also he dropped me the Kid's Fortune. That happened to be perfect on the EMF, 40%. And it was quickly followed by the Hellforge quest that not only is very beautiful now, but also happened to be very useful to me and yielded me a ghoul rune. Some of the first finds of the small charms were really epic. This 11 lightning resin 5 of HR is really great. Farming Trovianko has always been good for the charms and jewelry, and I found this 11 fire resin 7mf really great one. There were a couple of items that I really remember well. First of all, this tiara, 2 to necro, 20 FCR, life, and poison res, wearing it up until this day. And this possessed grotesque dropped me a spider web sash. We all know what is this. This is one of the best belts in the game. Arachnid Mesh. And now it's time to go to the runes. This Vex rune was a high rune that allowed me to create a hotter rune word that rolled 38 to all resistances, improving my character a lot. Then we also cheesed a little bit LK chests and found an Om rune that was converted into CTA. Only to find another Om rune just around the corner. We ventured to farm Travinko to find the good runes, and of course we didn't find any there, but instead we got an Om rune in the Flayer's Jungle. The cheese of the LKHS continued and we found a Sur rune. That was later followed by another one. The best strats in a single player. Now with the two surunes I have one third of the enigma. Farming Travenko further yielded again nothing, but the flayer's jungle dropped me a jar rune. So now I'm ready to create this. The one and only. Cha. Eth, Burr, Enigma. After all this time, we have it. And we went on straight to this anticlimactic moment with the bail and Ubers. They were really pain. This lasted about one minute at this really millimeter. But eventually he fell and dropped us a unique large charm, the first one. And it happened to be A stupid Pali Torch. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a lot of drops in 2022. A lot of good moments and a lot of cool stuff happening to you in D2R. Have fun.